Okay, next thing I'm going to do is make the gasket for this thing. So what I'm going to do is I've already marked out the outline when I was making all the gaskets. So put that on there to where I marked it out. There we go. That's, that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is I've got this piece here. I'm going to stick it down each hole. I might actually see if I can get a neater fitting one. See, that's a bit loose. See if I can get on that's neater fitting. Then what I'll do is just give it a little tap with the hammer, and that will mark out where the hole goes. So I'll either use this one or maybe try and find a one that's a bit better fitting. Okay, I just hit them with the hammer, and you can see that it's not. They're not heaps clear, but you know you can easily tell where the holes are meant to be. So now I just punch them out with a punch. This is probably one of the hardest parts of making the gasket is working out how far in to cut it, so how far in from that hole in this way to cut it. So what I'm going to do is probably just measure from a screw in about, about 15, 10 millimeters would be enough. Then what I'll do is I'll get a square and I'll show you. Okay, ready to cut it out. Those, that arc there, that inside one which my fingers on. That was made just by tracing around the outside. And then that where that straight line here measured from this line here, the black one, meets it is where you cut to. So it's pretty simple. So now what I'll do is I get my um, knife, put this on a piece of wood of course. And I like to cut along the ruler just to make it straight and it makes it a lot faster as well. Alright, all cut out. It's just curling a bit because the gasket stuff has rolled. Um I made that arc the just by tracing it around a tin can a few times and yeah I'll see how it fits. I've sort of got it on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch each of those holes out one size bigger and also I need to just trim trim around here a little bit more. Okay that goes on perfectly now. So what I'll do is I'll get this gasket goo stuff and because I've already put that on don't really feel like taking that off although it wouldn't be that hard to take off. I'll put the gasket goo on this then tighten that off. Before I put that piece on there, I'm going to put on this like counterweight, governor counterweight thing. So that's a pretty simple thing to put on. It's just uh, that goes like in there, and that goes under that other little piece. Okay, I just, I just put that on, and you can see that it's quite a simple mechanism. And that so if the engine is spinning too fast, these two counterweights fly out, and it pushes this piece here out, and through a series of linkages, it links up to the injector pump. This is the next thing I'll add. This here goes on to in there, and you can see that ball bearing um, hits on that part which comes out and in. But there's a small problem: is that this arm here, see these don't work in sync. So it's just because I've loosened that nut there. But I'm hoping that they, that you have them sort of the same, the same at the same sort of angle. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Instead of putting this on here, because I seem to have been missing the screws which are in there, which go in there, I'm, I'm sure I've got them. I kept everything. I didn't lose anything. I'll be putting on the crank handle, so so I can give it a few cranks and test the injector out. Okay, I just finished putting that piece on there. So now what I'm going to do is put on the head of the engine. The head, when I got it back from the machine shop, he'd put some coating on it. It's kind of grey, so he's put that on just to protect it a bit. I uh, just put the head on then. Um, the valve, it's a weird design, like you can't put the valve springs on until you put the head on. Oh, because what they have to do is the valve springs go. Actually, you probably could have. Yeah, I probably could have put the valve springs on. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It's probably easier this way anyway. So now, what I'll do is I'll have to put this thing on, take, put this thing on with, and then put the valve spring on, and then put the rocker cover, the rockers on. Okay, I just managed to get the valves in with my help of my dad. What I did is he put the, he pushed the valve springs down, and I put the two little things in to hold the valves on. So now, I will put the rockers on, and the push rods. Okay, I've put this... Uh, rockers on. Uh, I haven't adjusted the tappets yet. Um, I'm going to do that later. I could probably do it now. I, just, I don't know. I just feel like doing something else. feel like testing the injector out. 
So I'm going to put on most of the stuff relating to the injector. I've put on the governor. You can see that this um, comes along here and sort of connects up and around to the injector pump. So now what I've got to do is put on the fuel line and a few other things. Okay, I don't know what I did on the last video, but from there I've put on this fuel line which goes up here. I made a new intake gasket. I have cleaned the air filter and so now I'm going to put all this on. So the air filter goes on, then this piece here, see it's got that bit cut out of it, sort of slips over it and on, and I'll tighten that up. Then I can almost be ready to test the injector just by sort of putting a funnel on that um, fuel in, like fuel in, that doesn't, anyway, they're like where the fuel goes in from the tank. So I can put a funnel on that and sort of test the injector. I just put the um, oil thing on, so now I'm going to actually put oil in the bot in the crankcase just so, and that'll also test the oil pump to see if it's pumping up and making pressure. Okay, I've got a little problem. I poured oil in it, and I've been giving it a few cranks, and I've had <coughs> so I can't even get it started. There you go. In, uh. Anyway, the injector pump's working. It's shooting out there. I had the injector on it, just that one there, and it did work again. And even when I'm just cranking it by hand, I can get up to about 20 um, psi of oil, 20 of whatever that gauge is in. Don't think it's in anything. Can't really see. But main problem is this down here. This is the oil filter in there, and it's leaking. And I've put about three liters of oil in it, and it's just got a slow leak. So to save emptying out three liters of oil, what I'm going to do is take everything off this board, and then hopefully I'll lean the engine over far enough so that all the oil will be on like the other side so I can undo that and remake the gasket in there so that's that's my next job ok I'm leaning it over with this battery and as you can imagine I don't want it falling so what I've done is I've tied a rope around it and just tied it up to the wall so now because I don't really want those wheels slipping out and then it falling or yeah I just don't want it falling over it's just a bit of security really so now I can undo the oil <coughs> the oil filter and see what needs doing. Okay, um, I've just stuffed that rag in there. St stop it leaking because it still leaks. You can see it's all down there and in there. I've probably lost about a litre of oil. That's okay. Um, so I got all excited, ready to put the filter back on. And I took the rag out and it started leaking in, and I've lost the little fuel filter. So I lost another couple of hundred millilitres of oil, but anyway. Can't find a little. Maybe it's still in there. It's probably still in there, actually. Yeah, it would be. So now I'm just going to put that spring on and then the ga gaskets. I made three of them because I think it needs a bit of thickness.